The Ukrainian military operation in the Kursk region has put the Russian army in a difficult position. To reassure the Russians, Putin has resorted to a familiar scenario, act as if nothing happened. But it is unclear how long this ruse will last writes the Wall Street Journal. It is noted that for many, the Ukrainian armed forces invasion of Russia dealt another blow to Putin's aura of invincibility, which he maintained in an effort to portray the Russian Federation as a country opposing Western domination. However, as analyst Keir Giles noted, there is now an attempt in Russia to pretend that this is normal, that wars come and go. You can try to turn this into a new normal, but where do you draw the line in the current circumstances? And when the events in Kursk Oblast do end up on Russian television, commentators repeat the Russian Defense Ministry statements about Russia's military superiority over Ukraine. And in response to Russians' outrage on social media, Kremlin propagandists call on everyone to calm down. Meanwhile, Putin has not addressed the nation about the invasion of Kursk Oblast. He continues to stick to his work schedule, writes the Wall Street Journal. It is indicated that his approach serves to create an atmosphere of normality for the population, which is showing signs of growing fatigue from the unleashed war. Nevertheless, as the publication writes, Putin will most likely continue to downplay the significance of the Ukrainian armed forces invasion and is unlikely to address the Russians now. He, as a rule, seeks to speak when he can report positive results, noted Nikolai Petrov, a consultant from the British think tank Chatham House. Let us recall that deep state analysts report that Ukrainian soldiers are continuing their operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation and have had a new success east of the city of Sudza. The Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center said that the Russian government had apparently decided to ignore the scale of the problem that the Ukrainian armed forces were creating for them by invading the Kursk region. The successful offensive operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, during which dozens of settlements came under the control of the Ukrainian army and the transfer of the war to the territory of the Russian Federation, were able to sober up even Russian state propaganda. Pro-Kremlin top propagandist Vladimir Solovyov, who has been telling Russians every day since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine about the strength of the Russian army, the superiority of the Russian Federation in new types of weapons, new assault groups ready to easily capture Ukrainian cities one after another, has suddenly changed his rhetoric in his latest broadcasts and is now focusing on the strength of the Ukrainian army. Dialogue.ua reports. To all those who say that the enemy is weak, demoralized, that he has nothing, stop lying, the propagandist said in one of his recent broadcasts, apparently forgetting that all these narratives were regularly heard from his lips and the lips of the participants in his propaganda show. It is also worth paying attention to the reaction of the regular guest of propaganda broadcasts, State Duma Deputy Andriy Gurulev and other so-called experts to the above words of Solovyov. They lowered their eyes and were plunged into sadness. Valery Ryabik, a Ukrainian military expert and development director of the information and consulting company Defense Express, noted that the operation in the Kursk region changed the strategic initiative in favor of the Ukrainian armed forces. Closing the cauldron, which is blocked on all sides by obstacles for Russian troops operating in the area, is an important strategic achievement. In particular, the area is bounded by the Seam River from the west and north, and Ukrainian units advancing through Kursk through the Kursk region with the main vector to Rilsk from the east. The Ukrainian armed forces control over the village Krasnuk Tiabriskoy prevents Russian troops from advancing in this direction. Ukrainian border guards are holding the defense from the south, explained Ryabik. According to the military expert, up to 3,000 Russian troops may be trapped in the cauldron in the Kursk region, an additional territory with a total area of 700 square kilometers with linear dimensions of 40 kilometers from east to west and 20 kilometers from south to north is already controlled, at least remotely, by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. This creates additional opportunities for further advancement and implementation of the strategic tasks 
currently being carried out by the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the Kursk region, noted Ryabik on the Espresso TV channel. The Defense Express expert also added that the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region is progressing successfully.